99% of people are still ignoring this profitable AI system. Or if you are using it, you're just not using it properly. Personally, it made me tens of thousands of dollars. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build profitable AI dashboards whilst everybody else gets left behind. I'm gonna build this out step by step using Bolt.new, NA10, and Google Sheets. And I'm gonna show you across three levels of complexity. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you five high ROI use cases you can adapt in your own business or agency to grow. All meaning that you can unlock more clients and grow your business and be in the beautiful 1% that are crushing it. So the premise of this video is to use three technologies as part of our AI operating system. Technology number one is gonna be Bolt, which is gonna be the platform, it's the no-code AI app builder. Then we're gonna use Google Sheets. You could use Airtable, which as I always say, as Google Sheets been hitting the gym, getting a little bit of that Mexican supplements and steroids. But Google Sheets, very accessible, very easy to integrate, great to get started. And then we're gonna use NA10, which is our no-code platform. I'll explain everything, which means that you probably end up with a system that looks a little bit something like this, some really cool looking dashboard, some Google Sheets of data, and then some automations in N10. And if you want to build an operating system, you can add in other things later on. Okay, so level one is going to be giving it the prompt. Now, all we're going to do with this one is we're going to create a beautiful dashboard that is connected to some data. The data that I'm going to be using here is this lead pipeline stuff. So can I display dynamically this information? So let's give it, first of all, come down here, get the data you want, click share, make sure it's available to anybody with a link and then we'll just copy it. Then we go over to Bolt, and we're gonna give it the following prompt. Hey there, I would like you to create me a visually engaging, beautiful dashboard that is gonna display the following metrics. I would like you to pull this information from this Google Sheet and do so every time the application is loaded. And then we come down and we pipe in the Google Sheet doc. And then what we're gonna do guys is quite simply copy the headers that we like, like so. Come back over here, enter that in, and then we are just going to add some beautiful color, some detail. Once that's done, we hit enter and let Bolt do the work in the background. Bam, and just like this guys, we've got a big and beautiful dashboard. Check this out, it's got Jack Roberts, 2 million, 300K and 10K for James Smith. And also it's mapped this against purchase and prospects. How freaking cool is this? And this is connected to freaking Google Sheets. How insane is that? So question is, will it update dynamically? Let's check it. Let's say James Smith, let's say Jack doesn't have a budget of 2 million. Jack actually has a budget of three million dollars. Let's go back over now to our beautiful workflow, refresh it and see if this works very quickly. Does update, bam, automatically total budget now 3.31 million and Jack's budget has updated dynamically. Now, this is very good. However, what we've done here, okay, if I come back over to our beautiful design here, we have linked together Bolt and uh, Google Sheets. But if you don't know how to connect that to N8N, you are leaving a significant amount of value on the table, which is why in level two, what we're going to do is actually connect this now to an N8N scenario so we can update the information dynamically. How does that look like? Well, what we're gonna do guys is have a chat bar that we can speak to and it will update the um, automation automatically. So to do that, we click on this node module here. We're gonna come down and we'll go for on chat message. That's basically all we need. Now we're gonna add in an AI agent. Uh, so come down here, let's add in an AI agent. We're gonna give him a cool model. So let's just give him OpenAI. If you don't have an OpenAI key, by the way, it's platform.openai.com. Create it, add $5, grab it, you're ready to rock and roll. We're okay with GPT 4.1 mini, that's okay. Then we're gonna add short-term memory. So we click on this, simple memory is absolutely fine. Fantastic, that's added. Now in terms of tools, we wanted to do two things. We wanted to be able to go and read the Google Sheet so it knows what's going on. And then we want it to have the ability to amend it. So we're gonna add two tools. First tool we've got right here is going to be, let's have a look at Google Sheets, fantastic. And if you aren't connected to Google, I'll put a video down below, just out of respect for your time, you can follow just to connect that to any time so you're ready to rock and roll. All right, so what we want to do is come down and we want to choose to get rows is absolutely fine. From the list, we're going to pick our beautiful lead pipeline, uh, which is opened up for us there automatically. And then sheet is simply sheet one. And all we want it to do is to kind of just get the rows. That's literally it. Cool. And then we're going to duplicate this guy by clicking on these dots, click on duplicate, and then second functionality is just the ability to update it. So instead of get rows, we want it to append or update a row. Okay, then it will load everything automatically and then we just let the guy decide. This magic button, by the way, just means let the AI decide. Um, a, a mantra that we should take forward boldly. <laughs> Column to match on is gonna be name. Beautiful, and we can leave that. And the only thing we've gotta do next, guys, 
you just give it a prompt. So click on the AI agent. Its input is from a chat node, beautiful, but we need to give it a system prompt. So come down to options, click on system message. This is kind of like its hardwiring instructions, the thing that go into its brain. So click on expression to full screen, and I'd like you to give it this prompt, which is basically you're an AI agent prompt, Google Sheets manager, call processes, read the message, review the sheets. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Do you know, I get so fired up about these sheets, guys, my watch even flies off. Then what it's gonna, it's gonna analyze, it's gonna update, it's gonna confirm, and then we just basically list out the available tools it's got. It can read Google Sheets, it can update, and then just some guidelines and response formats. So, shall we check out to see if this works? Let's open chat. Okay, number one. Hey, could you just confirm what is Jack Roberts' budget? Bam. Agents working, open chat model, simple memory's been checked. Now you see guys, it goes to simple memory, it'll tell me, you ask what Jack's budget is. So it's not gonna have amnesia like freaking Dora the Fish or whatever it was called, or Finding, I don't know. I don't watch Finding Nemo in my spare time. Don't judge me. Now, I would like to change Jack Roberts' budget to $4 million. Bam. Let's just see if it changes, it's working. Now, if we see the append one go, we know that it's worked. So it's getting rows, it's checking information, it's using model, it's updating it. Interesting, has that updated? It's updated our budget. So I'm not even, guys, I'm not even gonna check out Google Sheets. I'm just gonna straight up to Bolt because this is our new source of truth. And let me refresh it. Now this number here changes to a four. This has worked. So let's see, refresh it. 4.31 million. Jack Roberts' budget is four million. Guys, can you see how crazy this is? Now you've just got a chatbot that you yap with and it dynamically updates anything that you want to. That's how freaking crazy this thing is. Now, what have we done? We have connected, crucially, this is really important to understand, Bolt and this and also this. The question is now, what if we could actually, from Bolt, actually go to level three? Now, level three is the ability to action automations dynamically from the dashboard. So I'm gonna give this a particular prompt here. And before I can do that, we're actually gonna send that information over to NATM. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deactivate this guy for a moment. I'm gonna come down and add a webhook, okay? Come down to webhook. Now, webhook's just fancy word for how we connect things to other things. It's just how we send information. If you're playing catch, you know, you, one catches the ball, they're like, they're like the mitts, basically. The world's worst analogy. But I think it kind of makes sense. So we click on post, we click it to copy it. That's it. That's all we're doing, guys. Grab this webhook. Come down here, Mr. Webhook. Put him down there. Um, actually, I call it, he likes to be called Dr. Webhook, this guy. Now, we come over to Bolt. I'm going to give it the full imprint. I would like you to add a chat interface terminal where I can ask questions. Make it a WhatsApp-style chat. You're gonna send the information to this webhook, and then you're gonna display the response back as a message from the AI. Make sure it's beautifully formatted and it makes perfect sense. Bam, guys, then all you do, paste the webhook in, hit enter, and then Bolt works its magic in the background. Now, when, why would you use a dashboard like this? What are some of the circumstances in which you would use this? Number one, any time you need to actually make a decision based on data, you would use a dashboard like this because the quality of decision-making goes up. Secondly, any time you need to do some actions based on the data you get. Say for example, I've got loads of projects, right? I've got loads of customers, different budget statuses, meetings that are happening, and I need to do things like I need to send emails, I need to take actions, I need to do something. AI dashboards not only display the data in a beautiful visual way, but they also let you take action based on that data. And thirdly, anytime you present anything, to a client, make sure you prioritize how it looks and the visual effects. I can't tell you enough times, my last business, one of the biggest pieces of feedback I always got was, it just looks visually amazing. The magic behind it's incredible. Visuality matters. Beautiful guys, now do we see the chat style functionality? We do, in the bottom right, we click on this and we're gonna send that message that says, test, all right? Now let's go over to our N8 and workflow and just validate this for a second. Let's just execute the workflow, waiting for a test URL, come back over to our workflow and put on test. Workflow has started, come back over, and it grabbed the information. How freaking cool is that? Now I'm gonna give it a prompt just to kind of add, the, I don't like the fact it's a box in the bottom right, or that it is a freaking gorgeous chat interface, right? Actually, maybe it's fine. I'm just a bit of a stickler for this sort of stuff, but I think it's cool. All right, we have it in the bottom right. Now what do we wanna do? We wanna add in another AI agent. Now this agent, guys, what I'm gonna have it to do is to be able to make changes. I'm gonna let it go and check my calendar to book things in my calendar and do many different things. So what we do is we come over and let's add in our AI agent, like so, exactly like before. Come down, let's give it a good chat model. So let's go for OpenAI. Beautiful, and then for the tools, I'm just gonna copy these tools from before. Control C, Control B, bring them down. Excellent, and then we'll just connect these ones like so. 
And then let's add a couple of other tools. So one of the tools that needs to be able to access is create emails, right? So go for Gmail, consume the Gmail API tool, which is cool. Operation is to send. We'll let it determine who. Subject, let the AI determine. HTML is fine. Okay, you can see, so I've just clicked on this, defined by model, defined by model, and message is also defined by the model. And I believe that's it. Is there anything we want to add in there? No, we are good to rock and roll. Beautiful, so that's gonna send a message. So we can now email our people. And then finally, let's do something maybe for calendar. So you can actually create calendar appointments for us. Come down here, which is great. Yeah, this is good. And we'll say plus, actually we're gonna let AI determine that. I think that's cool. And then add field additional properties is going to be attendees. And then we need to just let the AI model determine who the attendees are and see if there's anything else that we would like. Um, all day, color ID. So you can add so many different things that you want. Summary, let's let the AI add a summary as well. I think it'd be really cool. And then we check, select our calendar, which is my calendar and fantastic. And then guys, we just need to give it a beautiful prompt. But before we do that, we also need to give it the ability to check out my calendar, right? So let's just duplicate this guy real quick because it needs to know when I'm free. Because we don't get double booked, do we guys? That's a bit crazy. So instead of create, just come to get many to get the events. Uh, and I'll let the um, AI determine that. And I think that's absolutely fine. And then we wanna give the AI agent the prompt. So click on this guy, come down and app. Ah, okay, so instead of connect track, track, track trigger mode, click on define below. And then we're gonna come over here and grab out where we sent the message, which is, I believe was test. So bam, we pull that over, fantastic. And then you wanna come down to options, add system message, uh, skip to expression so we can full screen this and then come here and then bam, all right. Exact same thing, except for I've given it core, core processes. I've told it's tools, it can read, it can update, it can check the calendar, it can check appointments, it can draft emails, and it's got guidelines. Excellent, okay? And then finally, you wanna add in a final webhook node that's just gonna respond and send the information back. Respond with uh, first incoming item is fine, but what we need to do is click on this guy, and instead of respond immediately, just respond using the respond to webhook node. Awesome. Brilliant. So guys, let's just check that this actually works. Hey dude, do me a favor, change Jack Roberts' budget from $4 million to $5 million. Then we come over to Snorri, we've executed it, and we come back over to Bolt, we hit enter, it's thinking, it's having some thoughts, come back over, we're gonna test it, see what happens, it's amending the workflow, awesome. We come back over to Bolt, hey, I've updated it, refresh the data to go from four to five, bam. How freaking crazy is that? Now, let's say I wanna send Jack an email, okay? asking him if he can increase his budget to $6 million. So I'm gonna back over to the workflow. We're gonna execute this one here. Hey dude, can you do me a favor? Could you drop Jack an email um, to ask if he can increase his budget to $6 million? Thank you. Bam. Right, now we come back over to the scenario. Let's see what happens here. It's having a little think. It's creating a message. It's sent a message, comes back over now to Bolt and see what it says when we got our beautiful update. And I can actually check this. It's asked to email, let's pull this email up. And here we go guys, I hope this makes you find you well. I wanna check if you consider increasing your budget to $6 million, please let me thought, know your thoughts. Thank you, best regards to your name. It said that because we've not specified who we're sending it from. And we also wanna remove this N8N. The way that you do that, by the way, is come into Gmail, come down, come down to options, and then we want to append N8N attribution, turn that off. And then we'll just say on the agent here, all updates must be sent from Jack. Cool, there we go, beautiful. And now you've learned those three levels, here are five high ROI systems that you can use right now for your business or somebody else's business to crush it. Number one is a social media system or operating dashboard. We can pull in your LinkedIn, your Instagram, your Facebook, your X numbers. So you can dynamically see all of this information in the dashboard. You can even pull in like competitive videos to see what is crushing it, what's got really high levels of resonance and then use that to inform your own strategy. It's one of the reasons that I've been able to get to over 30,000 followers on Instagram in just a couple of months using these strategies and these exact same dashboards. Number two is using a CRM. Imagine having your customer, right, their budget, Every email that they've ever sent you, any calendar appointment, any, any contact, any piece of information, all dynamically populated with the ability for you to track exactly where every single one of your leads is. It's like a CRM, but it's got infinite context. And it's context that absolutely crushes it. It gives you such levels of customizability. You can see things at a glance and make better decisions to take it to a completely new level. Number three is using for business operations. Let's say for example, I don't know, you had a recruitment business. Imagine a beautiful dashboard. Candidates apply, they appear on the board. We can assess it, we can have AI that does it, we can move them over to consider to approve to next stage. That then can trigger at the simple mere movement of 
considering to next stage or level one, level two, a voice agent to call them up, to send them a text, to send them an email, to send them assessments. It can then grade it and show you everything in a dashboard. You basically build a full recruitment system in one freaking terminal you can use whenever you want to. And that's just one example of the kind of system you can build for your clients or for your own business. Number four is actually like a custom GPT. So I built something in my community called Jack GPT. It's trained on every single video. I've ever done. It's trained on my entire classroom. It knows how I speak. It's trained on all of the databases for all the knowledge. And people can ask that questions whenever they want to. Say, hey, what should I do next? I'm struggling with this. And Jack GPT, unlike the real Jack, doesn't actually sleep. He doesn't drink as much coffee as I do, but he doesn't sleep. And he can answer all that stuff. And I built this in an application like Bolt um, so people can just talk to it dynamically. And it's got so much freaking potential because now it kind of just democratizes me in a way, and it can answer sometimes things way better than I can. Well, I don't want to admit that yet, but it basically essentially can answer things better than I can at certain times. So it's literally insane. And you can use that to completely revolutionize your customer experience beyond a basic, simple, silly chat bot, and it can make it do so much more. And number five, which I think is the most important here, is you. You can use these dashboards to completely change anything you're doing right now. If you want to track what you're eating, your productivity, your meetings, your appointments, your calendars, it is next generation productivity management, and its functionalities are insane. Now, to learn how to do this in an AI operating system and take this to the next level, watch this video on screen.